Hello everybody, welcome back to the Kerbal Space Program. My name is Chris and this is the Subscriber Designs episode 31. Today, the very first plane that we're going to be checking out today is Maneuver Plane and this is made by XX is Stealth XX. Yeah, that, I don't get those names with XX's in them. No offense, but like, there's like so many of them. XX, yeah. Someone explained to me the purpose of X's in their name. Like, yeah, it throws me off a bit. And it's a bit difficult to pronounce. You know, is, is there a secret way to say it? Anyway, the craft is a mistake in a way because, you know, this was made in old version of KSP and then it got updated and take a look at those gaps. But those are really cool. I really like the way that looks. You know what? I might actually integrate this kind of stuff into my designs. So I have these nice large gaps everywhere. It really does look cool. I can't remember ever testing this because I got these... I looked at these crafts like two weeks ago and I've been playing a game known as Ark Survival. It's some sort of dinosaur game for a while now, but can't exactly show that on this YouTube channel. So yeah, that's why I've been on, that's why I've been on a bit of a break. We have Barvin Kerman, never heard of him. Regardless, uh, this thing, this craft <laughs> needs to be tested. Uh, I'm sure it may work. I don't remember actually looking at the center of lift and mass and thrust and all that, but it looks uh, It looks good so far. Oh, it's gonna move. Oh, yep. Yep. Okay. All right. Well, it seems stable so far But then usually when I say that 10 seconds later, oof. Nope, it seems good Untitled spacecraft. That must be one of my secret projects. Ho oh, oh, ho oh, oh. ho ho Yes, I have a project going on. It's a secret. Now I'll, I'll start it actually, I haven't started the project. That's some random craft that I can't remember what it is. We'll go take a look. But the craft so far, it's, you know, you can move it around. It's not the most nimble type of craft. I mean, this is called maneuver craft. You can at least move and it looks cool while doing so. I'm happy about it. You know, should we crash? If we can crash, then that would imply good precision with this plane. Uh, what is that? I don't know what that is. What what was I trying to do? Two weeks ago, man. I'm lost. <laughs> it's quite funny, actually. Alright, anything getting damaged? Because that's... No, oh, good. See, the engine is usually is quite close to that towel connector there, and I kind of got worried. There we go. Oh, I missed those sound effects. They're so good. Whoa. Uh, yep. Hey, we actually got it. That's good. It's a very good plane. Whoa, there goes a the runway. I mean the landing pad. Oop. Oops. Wow, we have more Kerbals. When do we get more Kerbals? Did we default to that other craft that was here? I think so. Where is it? Wait, let's see. Hatch is obstructed, so it's buried inside the ground. Where are you? Yeah. Where? I can't find it. I'm trying to zoom into the ground. Alright, well that's the first unusual thing of the day. Things like that always happen. I guess let's go straight to Space Center and then we'll check out the next craft. Anyway, that was a good craft. Very interesting events unfolded there, <laughs> as per usual. Uh, the next craft is Orca VTOL Gunship and this is by Benjamin. That's a nice simple name. Well done, Benjamin. <laughs> he seems as though he included an image, which I believe I checked out. Anyway, he has a description here. It is a VTOL and I took some Liberties in design, but it's recognized. Yada, yada, has two rockets and two bombs, each with their own button. Ooh, but I bet that's not there because of update. Oh, no, it's there. That. All right, that's going to. What's that for? We have to properly understand this craft. You can probably hear people in the background in my house. Please excuse them. They do that a lot. All right, so we have that there. And then it activates. And then. What's this one for? Tell me. Oh, that's for that. Oh, that's for the bombs. Okay, those are bombs. All right, well, I've been testing out the craft, and initially it would not lift off. Instead, it would just flip backwards, and then I adjusted the engine position, and then it started to flip forward. So I had a general idea of where to place these engines. Uh, so far, it seems okay during the initial lift off, but once you get high enough, it tends to flip, start to tilt backwards. Bit worrisome and this is somewhat heavy so we need to have it you know almost 100% throttle if you move around you'll see there's also a collection of 
parts down there from this craft when I was testing. That indicates that it did indeed flip backwards. That's so exciting. But at least it's moving. Uh, I suppose we could test out the... These are missiles, aren't they? Oh, will they even work? I'm curious to see if they will work. Oh, oh I pressed space, but I should have pressed number one. <laughs> Damn it! I fired the wrong things! Imagine her! Alright, at least it's working better than before. I really do like the way it looks. Uh, the batteries are unnecessary as well. I suppose they're just for looks, but really are unnecessary. If you want to put something that will actually look good, maybe solar panels would be preferable. And we're gonna die. Well, Jotrus. Wait, wait, wait. No, no. <laughs> Such a fail crash. All right, we're gonna fight in three, two, one. This is gonna be a fail. That's something. I don't mind. And oof, number two for that. <laughs> I like that one. You know the the first things that we just used, if you can consider them to be missiles, which yeah, not entirely, but anyway, at least with them, realistically, they'd be hard to shoot down. Because imagine that you you fire this weed missile at a building, and someone's trying to shoot at it. You know, they, they probably won't be able to shoot it because this thing's spinning around, but it still has its eye on the target. That'd be interesting. I wonder if there's something like that in real life. Oh, can we save this? Oh, yeah, pretty good. I'm happy. I want to see if I can land it. I want to see if I can land it back on the runway or maybe on the building. All right, let's try it. Whoa. Wow, well, I like the way it, the roll is quite good on this. Unusually good. Yeah, I have to admit. And there was some sort of, I don't know, nomination on the KSB forums for, uh, you know, your favorite YouTube channel or, you know, the most educational or whatever else. There's something like that on the KSB forums. I was nowhere to be seen. <laughs> yeah, a lot of, uh, Scott Manley was there, so that that's good. At least they included him. Uh, Danny, I think he was there and some other ones. I do not exist. Well, yeah. No, it's just all this inactivity, I think. <laughs> I, the last comment I read two weeks ago was someone telling me to do more videos. <laughs> and then I go on this two-week break. Two-week break, that was quite funny. I still remember that. Alright, this is a very unusual landing. Go back. I'm telling you, go back. Alright, we need to see back. Oh, no. No. Oh, we failed. Eject. One, two, three. Ha oh, oh, ha oh, oh. ha! I saved the kerbal. Yeah, the trick is right before you land, you <laughs> get the kerbal out, and sometimes they might survive. But anyway, that was interesting. That was interesting. This is not the last craft. I'm telling you, it is not. All right, let's take a look, and let's see. Oh yeah, and by the way, the oh, I'll mention it later on. Anyway, the next craft is by a Korean and that's his name not being racist or anything that's his name or her name I don't know but it's most likely a he so I'm just gonna say he anyway so he submitted three crafts I won't show all of them as in I won't use them in game other than just you know taking a look here this is one of the crafts actually that's decent in looks x14 I like the way that uh, that's a bit of a problem but I think this is made in previous version KSP. Again, wings changed, and so this would have worked back then. Uh, I can fix this, actually. Oop, not really. <laughs> not really. Alright, we'll test all these crafts out. Let's go. There's three of them remaining, which includes this one, of course. Let's see. Whoa, those... <laughs> Look at those struts. Well, just... For no reason, just popping out. I could make a nice design. Imagine that, a strut design. Struts everywhere. Oh, oh, oh. And will it lift off? After being mutilated by the update. Yes, it lifts off. Landing will, will land it. Will it land well? I don't know if it will land easily. Ah, uh, yeah, it'll be fine. You know what, let's just... All right, roll is good. Pitch. Pitch is decent. Your 
You're always pretty good as well. Alright, that's a decent craft. And we go. Alright, I like this craft. It's good. <laughs> Except for those issues. With the struts there. Alright, let's see if we can hit an object. Just so we can show off the next design very quickly. What shall we hit? Something that's easily explosive. I think, I think this thing is easy to break. Let's see. I don't really know 100%. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, not too sure. I'll have to do some tests. That was nice. Good craft. Very good craft. Let's go to Space Hangar and check out the next craft. So this was X14. We have X15. Which will that work? Yes. Okay. Ah, uh, simple. We know it will work just by looking at it. In fact, let's double check. Yeah, it should be good. Shouldn't have any issues there. And the X16. X16 is also pretty simple. <laughs> Look at that space. Look at that nice space there. In fact, I'll test this one out. Yeah, and this will be the last craft for this episode. So the name X... Oh, there's a little description here. The X16 rolls fairly slowly, but it's incredible maneuverability pitch-wise. Makes it easy to lift off land and make sudden turns. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> Once we test it out, I will agree. I will. Yes. And it's interesting, you take a look here, these objects have actually, there's four of these objects in one. That's why you can see, kind of looks, where there's meant to be missiles or what? Just for looks. Oh, look at that. Hey, that actually looks quite cool. Whoa. That is interesting. I must admit. Uh, design techniques, design techniques. I'm going to write that there. <laughs> yeah, that, that does look pretty cool. Imagine having missiles right there and then after you fire you just simply close it like that yeah, design ideas well done very good and this is by a korean guys all right interesting very interesting man is this is this slowing us down i swear it would decelerate me because of those things from those objects wait let me test that out yeah, I didn't notice that at first. I think it is slowing us down. Must be the new drag model actually doing its job. <laughs> All right, here we go. So we're moving at 20. Oh, we're still accelerating. We're still increasing in thrust, actually. Let's just go to about maximum. Time up. All right, lift off. All right, time up. And the maximum is around. 69.6 newtons. All right, and the number one. No, we're still accelerating. All right, we're still gonna wait a little. So what was that? So we we made a turn. Obviously, you decelerate slightly when you're turning. Did we turn too rapidly? Perhaps didn't exactly gain enough speed to move on all right so these all right these are not an issue but then they look cool all right well that little test has been completed <laughs> let's try and land this nice yeah, the roll is not bad on this craft it's decent pitch is good too all right oh this yep there we go rules are extended and oh there we go not exactly straight landing oh okay 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 there had to be something that would break all right well that's a landing yes <laughs> bit of an angle but i'm i'm quite happy with these submissions for this episode so i'd like to thank xx is stealth xx i'm confused about this x's someone please address them uh for the maneuverable plane and I'd like to thank Benjamin as well for his Orca VTOL. That was interesting. I also fixed that up, guys. So I'll include the fixed version uh, in the download link. And a Korean who submitted the X14, X15, and X16. Hope you enjoyed and see you next time. Take care. Bye-bye. And next time will not be in two weeks' time, okay, guys? It will be in like you know, three days' time.
There we go. <laughs>